hey guys welcome back to nexion blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create your own transitions in vsdc free video editor so with the latest update of vsdc this new feature has been added where now you can create your own transitions in vsdc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported two demo videos in the editor so this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video and the plan is first i will apply a transition between these two videos and then i will show you how you can save that transition for later use in your future projects so let's say let's apply a blink transition between these two videos so double click on the first demo video and then go to video effects go to transitions select wipe and then click on ok now look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window type is door mode is vertical in so change this from vertical in to vertical out directly is set to false gradient length is set to 50 percent so change this from 50 to 0 and then press enter now go back to the main editing timeline and now double click on the second demo video go to video effects once again go to transitions select wipe and then click on ok now place this wipe transition at the beginning of the video like this and look inside the wipe settings once again type is door mode is vertical out directly is set to false so change this from false to true gradient length is already set to 0% so let me just go back to the main editing timeline and let me just quickly play the video for you so as you can see i've successfully created and applied a blink in transition between these two videos all right now what i would like to do is i would like to save this first transition which i applied at the end of the first video as blink in and i would like to save this second transition which i applied at the beginning of the second video as blink out so to do that look inside the projects explorer tab and right here below you will find this projects explorer tab once again to its right you will find this template window so click on this template window and let me just quickly expand this so that things are clearly visible inside template window you will find couple of options like video effects audio effects text effects and three folders quick styles instagram styles and transition collection so to save this first transition as blinkin what you need to do is first click on this transition and since i am creating a transition i would like to save my new transition inside the transition collection folder so expand the transition collection folder and come at the end and at the end as you can see page turn transition is there so click on this option page turn transition and now click on this plus sign which says add template so the moment you click on add template below the page turn transition you will find this particular wipe transition appear it might take a couple of seconds you may experience some glitches but it will appear this wipe transition will appear below the page turn transition as you can see right here now the name of this transition which appeared is wipe one so i would like to change this from wipe one to blink in so let me just write blink in perfect perfect so as you can see it is really easy to add your own transitions to create your own transitions and let me just go back to the main editing timeline this time let me just select blink in and now let me just double click on the second demo video and now let me just click on this second transition which i created at the beginning of the second video i would like to save this transition as blink out so click on this transition click on the plus sign once again and below blink in 
you will once again find the wipe transition up here so once again it might take couple of seconds couple of glitches but below blinken you will see the wipe transition up here as you can see right here so once again let me just change the name of this transition from wipe one to blink out so let me just write blink out and that's it i've successfully added two new transitions my own transitions blink in and blink out and they have been added inside the transition collection folder all right and what we will do next is we will close this project all right we will close this project so let me just go to projects and let me just click on close project and now let me just click on no let me just start a blank project so let me just write the name of my project as how to create your own transitions in vsdc and now let me just import two demo videos so i have my standard car demo video right here so let me just import that and let me just import my second demo video whose name is video 2 so let me just import that in the editor as well and now this time i will not go to video effects and transitions and i will not apply wipe all right to create my blink transition rather what i will do is i will directly double click on the first video i will go to this template window right here all right i will go to this template window right here and i will expand this transition collection folder and at the end as you can see my blink in transition is already present i will simply drag that transition and place it on top of the timeline and similarly now let me just double click on the second demo video and now let me just drag my blink out transition on top of the timeline like this perfect and so now if i just quickly play the video for you so as you can see this is the blink transition on screen so the second time i did not go to video effects transitions i did not click on wipe and then i did not have to set the uh, values inside the wipe settings all right so i directly dragged drag and dropped the blink in and blink out transition which i had created previously and in this particular second project i directly drag and drop this transition so this is how you can actually create your own transitions and you can save it for later use in your future projects so do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching